project assumes that resources work the same amount every day from the start to the finish of every task. But you know that work sometimes starts slowly, ramps up to a steady level, and then tapers off while someone ties up loose ends. At other times, people work more and more as days pass to get the work done by the due date. You can apply work contours to resource assignments to reflect how work really gets done. Work contours change the amount of work that's assigned during each period over the length of assignments. Work contours apply to assignments for auto-scheduled tasks, not manually scheduled ones. And the flat contour is what project applies automatically. It schedules the same hours of work each day, like eight hours, if a resource works 100% on the task. To see what the work hours look like for the flat contour, select the Inventory Office task. Click the View tab, and then click Task Usage. Each day, the Office Manager and the Relo Assistant are assigned to work eight hours for the length of the task. Contours come in several shapes. The benefit of using work contours is that you may eliminate overallocations without reassigning resources. You use the times that assignments don't demand a resource's full attention to overlap tasks. The reduced hours on some days, though, mean that a task will have a longer duration than it does with a flat contour. To apply a work contour to an assignment, double-click the Relo Assistant row below the Inventory Office task. The Assignment Information dialog box opens. The Work Contour box shows that the flat contour is applied. When you click the Work Contour down arrow, the drop-down list has contour names. It doesn't show how they shape the assignment hours, but some of the names are easy to figure out. Backloaded means that the highest level of work is loaded at the end of the assignment, a lot like your adrenaline level as you approach a deadline. Click Backloaded and then click OK. The Indicators column displays the backloaded indicator, which shows graphically how work is distributed over the course of the assignment. If you look at the hours for the assignment in the time-scaled grid, you see that the first day is 0.8 hours. When you scroll to the right, you can see the hours increasing until it reaches the 8 hours a day at the very end. The last day is slightly less, but that represents what's left over at the end of the task. Front-loaded is easy to figure out. It starts with the maximum at the beginning and decreases until the end. You can use the work contour indicators to figure out the other contours. On the Quick Access toolbar, click Undo to get rid of the backloaded contour. Now, double-click the Relo Assistant assignment again. This time, choose Double Peak and click OK. Double Peak looks like a suspension bridge. It comes with a peak near the beginning, another one near the end, with lower hours tapering up and down over the rest of the time. Once you know what double peak looks like, you know what early peak and late peak do. Early peak has a peak at the beginning, like the first part of a double peak, then it tapers off until the end. Late peak starts slow and increases to a peak near the end. The workload in a bell contour increases to a peak and then tapers off to the end. And finally, the turtle contour is like the bell contour, except that it ramps up and down more quickly, with the maximum hours for a longer period in the middle. You can't define custom contours. However, you can manually change the hours in the time-phased grid on the right side of the task usage view. Click an assignment cell and type the new hours for that period. If you manually edit work hours, the Indicators cell displays the edited work icon. It looks like a contour indicator, but it has a pencil on it as well. Work contours change the hours assigned each day so that some days have more hours and some have less. Contours are often a better reflection of how much time resources spend on their assignments over time. Even though work contours lengthen assignments, you may be able to eliminate resource overallocations with less of an impact on the project finish date than delaying tasks until resources are available.